Happy Saturday everyone today another regular summertime forecast for you. We'll get right back into the low 90s for our afternoon high temperatures. We may see some clouds actually coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. That'll help to prevent temperatures from really skyrocketing today, but it's still going to be really humid. We'll see some lingering clouds, breaks of sun and a good chance for a few scattered showers and storms today. Still going to be hit or miss variety, but any storms that do fire up can produce those heavy downpours like we've been seeing today with the humidity. It'll probably feel like up to maybe 105, 106 but could see it feels like temperatures in the heat index close to 108 degrees in a few areas that see more sun and see no cooling showers. So it will be hot and humid. Typical July for you there and some scattered showers and storms today during the afternoon and early evening hit or miss storms today. Tonight, if you'll be out and about after essence, maybe in the French Quarter doing anything fun outside anywhere, it's going to be really muggy and humid. Showers and storms should be winding down later tonight and we'll stay in the upper 70s for our temperatures tomorrow morning. Here's a rough idea of today. The model not always perfect at placing where the summertime storms set up, but we'll have scattered variety storms today and those storms can produce those heavy downpours like I was mentioning, which can lead to those isolated cases of street flooding. It's not going to be a problem for everyone, but you can get kind of those nuisance situations where you're driving and there's just it's not good. It's blinding rain, so Make sure you drive carefully today. If you get stuck under one of these storms, you can see those big puddles and the ponding on some of the roadways, especially since we got so much rain last night. Tomorrow, I think we'll see low, lower rain chances, less rain coverage expected on Sunday. Tomorrow we'll see partly cloudy skies. I'll have about a 20 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Lower and middle 90s for our high temperatures tomorrow, so we'll be hot and very humid tomorrow. We'll see maybe a little bit more sunshine and less rain on our Sunday. So let's get right into the tropics. We've been talking about barrel now for over the last week, over the last week, and we're still talking about it now. It's it's been around for a while and now it's finally in the Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm. It is encountering and kind of being embattled by some drier air, helping to weaken it, but there is that kind of burst of convection or storm starting to fire up. But I think the dry air and some shear will kind of help it keep itself a uh, just a tropical storm today. So I don't think it's really going to intensify much today because of these things working against it. It's actually sending some cloud cover across the Gulf kind of uh, being sheared up. So we're seeing actually some clouds extending in from barrel. So we're getting some clouds from barrel today, which is actually kind of helpful. It's helping it feel not as hot outside, but it's not coming to the New Orleans area. This is still going to be moving into Texas later this weekend into early this week. So here is another look at a different satellite imagery of the infrared imagery of tropical storm barrel to see those cloud tops. Those kind of burst of convection here a little bit healthier looking now. But again, like I was mentioning with that drier air and some shear off to its southwest, not going to be also impressive today. Sustained winds at 60 miles per hour, gusting up to 70, moving at 12 miles per hour to the west northwest. And this is the latest update as of Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time pressure at 997 millibars. So let's walk you through the cone. Still looks like our landfall here is going to be somewhere along the central Texas coastline and also as it spends time over the very warm Gulf waters, it will be strengthening probably back to a strong category one. So a category one storm is going to be moving into Texas later this weekend, but I think really landfall looking more like Monday now. So Monday landfall expected near Port Lavatka, more, more so Port Lavatka area closer to Victoria, Texas, maybe even Corpus Christi, a little bit east of Port Lavatka. That's kind of where the landfall could be possibly as a category one, maybe a category two, depends on how things go. So hurricane moving into Texas by early this week. And then as that continues to move inland, the impacts will spread across East Texas. So into Houston and Eastern Texas, and then it will continue to weaken. But again, as a low pressure system, sending some of those kind of impacts like moisture and kind of those breezy conditions and more so showers across the lower and mid Mississippi Valley during the middle to latter part of the work week. So right now, tropical storm warnings actually in effect for parts of the southern Texas coast from Corpus Christi to Brownsville. Elsewhere, hurricane watches about from just south of Houston all the way down to the tip of Texas. So they are preparing or should be preparing for a uh, category one, maybe a category two hurricane making landfall sometime early Monday. Storm surge for the Texas coast. Anywhere from three to five feet along the central part of the coastline, two to four feet south of Corpus Christi, maybe two to four feet of surge in the Houston Galveston Bay area. Again, if you live in Texas or you have any friends or family there, have any plans there, this is what is coming 
later this weekend through early this week. Here in the New Orleans area, we are not going to see any direct impacts. The upper level high pressure is going to help you know, keep us protected, so to speak, and then barrel is going to get pulled up from this trough coming in across the central part of the country. But as it gets pulled up, some moisture will get kind of ejected into the central part of the Gulf Coast. So the New Orleans area will see an increase in our rain chances, I think, on Tuesday and maybe into Wednesday. But nothing crazy, nothing extreme expected for us here in the New Orleans area, southeastern Louisiana, South Mississippi. This is what we have over the next seven days, our rainfall totals. Today at 60% because we have other things going on and then compare it to Tuesday at 70% as a result of barrel. So I don't think we're going to see anything out of like something we can't handle as a result of barrel not coming here. We're just going to see those indirect impacts. So nothing to stress too much about if you were if you're watching from the New Orleans area. So 60% rain coverage today or rain chance today, I should say 30% tomorrow. So lower rain chances for our Sunday. And then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday with barrels moisture, at least some deep tropical moisture coming in, rain chances increasing for us Tuesday and Wednesday. Scattered storms, maybe some heavier showers. And then by Thursday and Friday, high pressure starts to build back in from the east. It moves from east to west, and that will help to lower our rain chances and heat us up by Thursday and Friday. So here's a look at barrel with the GFS model, kind of doing a good job at showing what it looks like currently. And it's showing that landfall again near Port Lavaca area. So that's what we have early Monday and then the rain spreading in across East Texas and then across the lower Mississippi Valley Tuesday into Wednesday. And then here is the European model actually shows it a bit stronger currently, which it is not. So this is actually maintaining it as a bit of a stronger storm, which is placing landfall a little bit more to the north and east closer to Houston, maybe even as a more intense storm too. So still Houston will be seeing those bigger big rain totals anyway. So anywhere along the Texas coast from Corpus Christi to Houston, preparing for the big impacts later this weekend into early in the week. And then this is Tuesday. Rain spreads across the mid lower and mid, and mid Mississippi Valley. Hurricane force winds, of course, moving into the Texas coast early Monday. They'll be dealing with that, unfortunately, and that will continue to spread inland here in the New Orleans area. Another indirect impact, nothing huge to stress about, but it is going to get a little bit breezy, I think, especially at the coast and our onshore winds coming in from the south will be increasing starting Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think it's going to be breezy in southeastern Louisiana and south Mississippi. And also, like I mentioned, we'll see those higher rain chances Tuesday and into Wednesday. But the big rainfall totals are going to be in Texas. They'll see eight to 10 plus inches of rain. They'll be getting flooding rains from Barrow. We'll see two to four inches of rain over the next week, so totally manageable rain amounts. I mean, yesterday we just had our regular storms come in last night and we had so much rainfall in a short amount of time and we had flooding. So I'm only mentioning this as to not stress about barrel here in the New Orleans area. So two to four inches of rain expected over the next week. And again, a closer look at those local impacts in our immediate area, southeastern Louisiana, south Mississippi can see the strengthening onshore winds. So we'll get breezy especially at the coast Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And with the winds coming in from the south, you could see maybe some minor coastal flooding anywhere from one to two, maybe one to three feet above the normal high tide for our southward facing shorelines Tuesday and Wednesday. So that will be one of our impacts here. Rough marine conditions are expected Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So if you have a small boat, small craft, don't go out there the first part of the week with these rough marine conditions expected. We'll probably see small craft advisories issued, things like that. Again, it is going to be breezy, which is not a terrible thing since it's so hot and muggy. That'll help it make you feel kind of nice out. And we'll see a little bit more rain, I think, Tuesday and Wednesday, but nothing crazy here in New Orleans. Here's our seven day forecast. Pretty average summertime for you every day. Hot, humid temperatures in the low 90s, feeling like the triple digits. Scattered storms today, less rain tomorrow. And then we pick up those rain chances courtesy of barrel and some moisture on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then that will actually help with the heat too a bit and will be breezy during that time as well. And then later in the week, rain chances go back down, temperatures go back up. So